Chapter 1 – The Beginning of the End It was a typical Monday morning, the sun was shining, and the birds were singing. Little did I know that this would be the day that my life would change forever. I had woken up early, as usual, and went through my morning routine. I had a quick breakfast and headed out the door, ready to start the day. As I walked to work, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. I couldn't put my finger on it, but I couldn't shake the feeling that something was about to happen. As I arrived at work, I was greeted by my colleagues and we chatted about our weekends. We talked about the usual things, the weather, the football game and what we had planned for the week ahead. Little did we know that these would be the last normal conversations we would have for a long time. As the day went on, we started to hear reports of a virus that was spreading rapidly. At first, we didn't think much of it. We thought it was just another flu that would pass quickly. But as the reports started to come in, it became clear that this was something much more serious. The virus was spreading at an alarming rate, and soon it was clear that it was going to have a major impact on our lives. The government started to take action, closing borders and implementing strict quarantine measures. The streets were empty, and the only people out were those who had no choice but to go to work. It was clear that this was the beginning of the end. The news was filled with reports of people falling ill and hospitals being overwhelmed. The death toll was rising, and it seemed like there was nothing we could do to stop it. We were in the midst of a global pandemic, and it was clear that things were going to get much worse before they got better. As the days went by, the situation continued to deteriorate. People were losing their jobs and businesses were closing. The economy was in freefall and it seemed like there was no end in sight. The world was in chaos and it was clear that we were facing an unprecedented crisis. As the weeks passed, it became clear that this was not just a temporary problem. This was a new reality, and we would have to adapt to it. We would have to find a way to live in this new world, a world of darkness and despair. We were all struggling, trying to make sense of what was happening and trying to find a way to move forward. But in the midst of all this darkness, there was a glimmer of hope. We realized that we were not alone, that we were all in this together. And it was this realization that gave us the strength to keep going, to keep fighting and to keep searching for a way out of the darkness. This was the beginning of the end, but it was also the beginning of a new journey. A journey to find hope amidst despair and to find a way to move forward in the face of adversity. To falling into the abyss. As the days passed, the situation only grew worse. The virus was spreading rapidly and the death toll was rising. People were getting sick and dying, and there seemed to be no end in sight. The world was in chaos and it was hard to see how things would ever get better. I, like many others, struggled to come to terms with what was happening. I found myself falling into a deep depression, feeling hopeless and helpless. It was hard to see any light at the end of the tunnel, and I felt like I was falling into an abyss of despair. I lost my job, as many others did and I had no idea how I was going to pay my bills or take care of my family. The future seemed uncertain, and it was hard to see how I would ever get back on my feet. I also struggled with feelings of isolation and loneliness. The quarantine measures meant that I couldn't see my friends or family, and I felt cut off from the rest of the world. I spent most of my days alone, feeling like I had no one to turn to. As the days passed, I found myself slipping deeper and deeper into the abyss. I had lost all hope and I didn't know how to find my way out. I felt like I was drowning and there was no one to save me. One day, I was sitting alone in my apartment, feeling completely lost, when I received a phone call from an old friend. We hadn't spoken in years, but he had heard about my situation and wanted to check in. During our conversation, he reminded me that I was not alone, that there were people who cared about me and wanted to help. He told me that I had to keep fighting, that I couldn't give up. Those words spoken by a friend were a turning point for me. They gave me the strength to keep going, to keep fighting and to not give up. I realized that I couldn't let this virus and the darkness it brought with it to consume me. 
I needed to find a way out of the abyss, and I needed to do it for myself and for my loved ones. I started to reach out to others, to connect with friends and family and to find support. I joined online support groups and started to talk to others who were going through similar struggles. I realized that I was not alone in my feelings of despair, and that there were others who were going through the same thing. Slowly but surely, I started to climb out of the abyss. I found a job, even though it was not my dream job, but it gave me a sense of purpose and the ability to support my family. I reconnected with old friends and made new ones, and I started to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Falling into the abyss was one of the darkest times of my life, but it also taught me an important lesson. It taught me that I was stronger than I ever thought possible, and that I could get through anything with the help and support of others. Three, searching for a glimmer of hope. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks turned into months, the situation with the virus seemed to show no signs of improving. The death toll continued to rise and the economic impact was devastating. It was hard to find any hope or positivity in the midst of all the darkness. I, like many others, found myself searching for a glimmer of hope. I wanted to believe that things would get better, that there was a light at the end of the tunnel, but it was hard to hold on to that hope when everything around me seemed so bleak. I spent countless hours reading the news, trying to find some kind of update or breakthrough that would give me hope. But all I found were more stories of death and destruction. I felt like I was stuck in an endless cycle of despair, and I couldn't see a way out. I tried to distract myself by watching movies, reading books and playing video games, but nothing seemed to take my mind off the reality of the situation. I felt trapped, like I was living in a nightmare that I couldn't escape from. I started to lose faith in humanity. I saw people hoarding supplies and taking advantage of the situation for their own gain. I saw people refusing to wear masks and disregarding the safety of others. It was hard to believe that there was any good left in the world. One day, I stumbled upon a video of a group of healthcare workers who were singing on the front lines of the pandemic. They were tired and overworked, but they were still singing, still finding joy and hope in the midst of all the darkness. That video was a turning point for me. It reminded me that there was still good in the world, that there were still people who were fighting to make things better. It reminded me that I needed to hold on to hope, no matter how hard it seemed. I started to look for glimmers of hope in my own life. I reached out to friends and family and reconnected with people I had lost touch with. I volunteered to help out at a local food bank, and it felt good to be doing something to help others. I also started to appreciate the small things in life. The sunshine on my face, the sound of birds singing and the smell of fresh flowers. I realized that even in the darkest of times, there were still things to be grateful for. Searching for a glimmer of hope was not easy, but it was necessary. It helped me to keep going, to keep fighting and to not give up. It reminded me that even in the darkest of times, there is still light to be found. Before the darkness closes in. As the virus continued to spread, the darkness seemed to close in around me. It was harder and harder to find hope and positivity in the midst of all the despair. The death toll was rising and the economic impact was devastating. I felt like I was suffocating under the weight of it all. I started to feel hopeless and helpless. I couldn't shake the feeling that things were never going to get better. I felt like I was stuck in a never-ending cycle of darkness and despair. I couldn't see a way out, and the thought of living like this for the rest of my life was overwhelming. The darkness was not only affecting me emotionally, but it was also starting to take a toll on my physical health. I was suffering from insomnia, and I couldn't shake the constant feeling of fatigue. I had lost my appetite and was struggling to eat. I felt like I was slowly being consumed by the darkness. I tried to hold on to the hope that I had found earlier, but it was becoming harder and harder to do so. The glimmers of hope that I had found seemed to be fading, and I was left with nothing but darkness. I felt like I was losing my mind, and I didn't know how much longer I could take it. I started to withdraw from my friends and family. 
I didn't want to burden them with my problems, and I didn't want to hear about their struggles either. I just wanted to be alone, to escape from the darkness that was closing in around me. The isolation only made things worse. I felt like I was trapped in my own mind, and I couldn't escape from the constant thoughts of death and despair. I felt like I was losing my grip on reality, and I didn't know how much longer I could take it. I was at the end of my rope, and I didn't know what to do. I felt like I was drowning in the darkness, and there was no one there to save me. I didn't know how much longer I could hold on, and the thought of giving up was becoming more and more appealing. But in the depths of my despair, something inside me stirred. I remembered the healthcare workers singing on the front lines, and the glimmers of hope that I had found earlier. I realized that I couldn't give up. I couldn't let the darkness consume me. I had to keep fighting, no matter how hard it seemed. I reached out to my friends and family, and I opened up to them about my struggles. They were there for me, and their support helped me to keep going. I also started to seek help from a therapist, who helped me to process my feelings and to find ways to cope with the darkness that was closing in around me. The darkness was still there, but I was no longer alone. I had people who cared about me, and I had hope. I knew that the road ahead would be long and difficult, but I was determined to keep fighting, to keep searching for the light in the darkness. Five, a ray of light in the distance. As the weeks went on, I started to notice small rays of light in the distance. They were small and faint, but they were there. They gave me hope that things would get better, that the darkness would eventually lift. One of the first rays of light came from the news that a vaccine had been developed, and was being distributed to the public. It was a small glimmer of hope, but it was enough to give me the strength to keep going. I knew that it would take time for the vaccine to have an impact, but the thought that there was a way out of the darkness was enough to keep me going. Another ray of light came from my therapy sessions. My therapist helped me to see that my feelings of hopelessness and helplessness were normal, given the circumstances. She also gave me tools to cope with the darkness and to find moments of positivity in my life. I also found a ray of light in my relationships. I had pushed my friends and family away in the depths of my despair, but I slowly started to open up to them again. They were there for me, and their support helped me to keep going. They reminded me that I was not alone in my struggles, and that gave me strength. I also found a ray of light in my work. I had been struggling to focus and to find meaning in my job, but I slowly started to see the importance of what I was doing. I knew that my work was making a difference, and that gave me a sense of purpose. All of these rays of light were small, but they were enough to keep me going. They gave me hope that things would get better, and that the darkness would eventually lift. They reminded me that there was still light in the world, even in the midst of all the darkness. I started to see that the darkness was not all-consuming. It was still there, but it was not as overwhelming as it had been before. I realized that the darkness would always be a part of my life, but it did not have to control me. I knew that the road ahead would be long and difficult, but I was determined to keep moving forward. I was determined to find more rays of light in the distance, to keep searching for the light in the darkness. I knew that the darkness would never truly disappear, but I also knew that the light would always be there. It might be small and faint, but it would always be there. And as long as there was light, there was hope, the struggle to find meaning. The darkness had been suffocating me for weeks, and I was struggling to find any meaning in my life. I felt lost and adrift, like I was just going through the motions without any purpose or direction. I tried to find meaning in my work, but it just felt like an endless cycle of tasks and deadlines. I tried to find meaning in my relationships, but they felt shallow and empty. I tried to find meaning in my hobbies, but they just felt like distractions from the emptiness I was feeling. I felt like I was searching for something, but I didn't know what it was. I felt like there was something missing in my life, but I couldn't put my finger on what it was. I turned to books and articles for answers, but they just left me feeling more confused. They talked about finding your passion and living your purpose, but I didn't know what my passion was or what my purpose was. 
They talked about finding happiness, but I didn't know how to find it. I was starting to feel like I was running out of options. I was starting to feel like I was stuck in a rut, and that there was no way out. It was during one of my therapy sessions that I realized what was missing in my life. My therapist helped me to see that I was searching for a sense of purpose and meaning in my life. I was searching for something that would give my life direction and purpose. It was a difficult realization to come to, but it was also a relief. I knew that finding my purpose and meaning would not be easy, but at least I knew what I was searching for. I started to make small changes in my life. I started to explore new hobbies and interests, trying to find something that would spark my passion. I started to volunteer in my community, trying to find a way to make a difference. I knew that the road ahead would be long and difficult, but I was determined to find my purpose and meaning. I knew that it would take time and patience, but I was determined to keep searching. I started to see that the struggle to find meaning was not a curse, but a blessing. It was a reminder that there was still something worth fighting for, that there was still something worth living for. I knew that I would never find all the answers, but I also knew that the search was worth it. I knew that the struggle to find meaning was a journey, and that I was not alone in it. It was a difficult chapter in my life, but it was also a chapter that gave me hope. It reminded me that the struggle to find meaning was not a curse, but a blessing. And it reminded me that the journey was worth it, because it was the journey that gave my life purpose and meaning. Seven, facing the demons within. As I continued on my journey to find meaning and purpose in my life, I realized that there were demons within me that I needed to face. These demons were not physical entities but rather negative thoughts and feelings that had been holding me back. I had been carrying around feelings of insecurity and self-doubt for years, and they were preventing me from moving forward. I was constantly worried about what others thought of me, and I was constantly comparing myself to others. I knew that in order to find true meaning and purpose in my life, I had to face these demons head on. I knew that it would not be easy, but I was determined to do it. I started by acknowledging my negative thoughts and feelings. I wrote them down and examined them, trying to understand where they were coming from. I realized that many of them were rooted in past experiences and traumas that I had not fully processed. I knew that I couldn't change the past, but I could change how I thought about it. I started to practice mindfulness and self-compassion, trying to be kinder and more forgiving towards myself. I also sought out the help of a therapist, who helped me to work through my past experiences and traumas. I learned new coping mechanisms and tools for dealing with my negative thoughts and feelings. It was a long and difficult process, but I was starting to see progress. I was starting to feel more confident and secure in myself. I was starting to see that my demons were not as powerful as I had once thought. I also realized that I was not alone in my struggles. I started to open up to friends and family about my journey, and I found that many of them were also dealing with similar demons. We started to support each other, and it was a powerful reminder that we are all human and we all have our own struggles. Facing my demons was one of the hardest things I've ever done, but it was also one of the most rewarding. It helped me to see that I am strong and capable of overcoming my negative thoughts and feelings. It helped me to see that my demons do not define me, and that I am so much more than my past experiences and traumas. I still have moments of insecurity and self-doubt, but I know that I have the tools and support to face them. I know that I am not alone in my journey, and that I am capable of finding meaning and purpose in my life. Eight, a battle for survival. The darkness seemed to be closing in around me, and I felt as though I was in a constant battle for survival. My world had been turned upside down and I was struggling to find my footing. Every day felt like a fight to stay alive. I had lost my job, my home and my loved ones. I was struggling with addiction and mental health issues. I felt as though I had hit rock bottom, and I didn't know if I had the strength to climb out of the hole I was in. I knew that I needed help, but I was too ashamed and embarrassed to reach out. 
I felt like a failure, and I didn't want anyone to know how low I had sunk. But one day I realized that I couldn't do it alone. I knew that if I wanted to survive, I needed to reach out for help. I started by going to an addiction support group. It was the first time I had ever talked openly about my addiction, and it was incredibly freeing. I felt like a weight had been lifted off my shoulders, and I knew that I was not alone in my struggles. I also started seeing a therapist, who helped me to work through my mental health issues. I learned about coping mechanisms and tools for dealing with my negative thoughts and feelings. I also started to build a support system. I reconnected with old friends and family, and I started to make new friends in the support groups. I realized that I needed people in my life who loved and supported me, and I started to let people in. It was a long and difficult process, but I was starting to see progress. I was starting to feel more hopeful and optimistic about my future. I was starting to see that I had the strength and resilience to survive. But the battle for survival was not over. I knew that I would always be in recovery, and that there would always be struggles and challenges. But I also knew that I had the tools and support to face them. I realized that survival is not just about living, but about thriving. It's about finding meaning and purpose in life, even in the darkest of times. It's about having hope and faith that things will get better. I was still in a battle for survival, but I was no longer fighting alone. I had a support system and a community of people who loved and supported me, and I knew that I could survive. Denying the weight of despair. The weight of despair was heavy on my shoulders. I felt like I was drowning in a sea of hopelessness and helplessness. Every day felt like a battle to keep my head above water, and I was struggling to find the strength to keep going. I had been struggling with depression for a long time, and it seemed like the darkness was closing in around me. I couldn't shake the feeling of worthlessness and despair, and I felt like I was losing the will to live. I tried everything to lift myself out of the darkness. I took medication, saw a therapist, and tried to stay active and engaged with my friends and family. But nothing seemed to work. The weight of despair was too heavy, and I felt like I was suffocating under it. I started to withdraw from my loved ones and my responsibilities. I stopped going to work and stopped participating in my hobbies and interests. I became isolated and disconnected from the world around me. I knew that I needed help, but I was too ashamed and embarrassed to reach out. I felt like a burden on everyone around me, and I didn't want to be a burden on anyone else. But one day, something shifted. I realized that I couldn't keep going on like this. I was in a dangerous place, and I knew that I needed help. I reached out to my therapist, who helped me to work through my feelings of despair. We talked about the root causes of my depression, and worked on developing coping mechanisms to deal with the overwhelming feelings of hopelessness. I also started to connect with others who were going through similar struggles. I joined a support group for people with depression, and it was comforting to know that I was not alone in my struggles. I also started to make small changes in my life. I started going for walks, reading books, and spending time with friends and family. I started to take care of myself again, and I started to feel a sense of purpose and meaning. It was a slow process, but I was starting to feel the weight of despair lifting. I was starting to see that there was hope and light in the darkness. I was starting to see that I had the strength and resilience to overcome the weight of despair. It was not an easy journey, but it was worth it. I knew that I would always be in recovery, and that there would always be struggles and challenges. But I also knew that I had the tools and support to face them. I realized that the weight of despair was not something that I had to carry alone. I had a support system and a community of people who loved and supported me, and I knew that I could overcome the weight of despair. Finding strength in adversity. I never thought that I would find strength in adversity, but that's exactly what happened. In the midst of my darkest days, I found the courage and determination to keep going. I had always been a strong person, but the weight of despair had taken its toll on me. 
I felt like I had lost my sense of self and my ability to cope with life's challenges. I felt like I was at the mercy of my depression, and that there was no way out. But as I began to work through my feelings and address the root causes of my depression, I started to see that there was a way out. I started to see that I had the strength and resilience to overcome the weight of despair. One of the things that helped me the most was connecting with others who were going through similar struggles. I joined a support group for people with depression, and it was comforting to know that I was not alone in my struggles. I also started to reach out to friends and family for support, and I was surprised at how much they wanted to help me. Another thing that helped me was learning to take care of myself. I started to make small changes in my life, such as going for walks, reading books and spending time with friends and family. I also started to take care of my physical health by eating better and exercising. I realized that self-care was not a luxury, but a necessity. I also learned to be kind and compassionate to myself. I stopped being so hard on myself and stopped beating myself up for not being able to, just snap out of it. I learned to accept that recovery is a slow process and that it's okay to take baby steps. As I started to make these changes, I began to feel a sense of empowerment. I realized that I had the strength and resilience to overcome the weight of despair. I realized that I was not a victim of my circumstances, but a survivor. The road to recovery was not easy, and there were still times when I felt overwhelmed by the weight of despair. But I knew that I had the tools and support to face those challenges. I knew that I had the strength to keep going. I also realized that the weight of despair had taught me valuable lessons. I had learned about the importance of self-care, compassion and support. I had learned that I am stronger than I ever thought possible. In the end, I found that adversity had given me strength. I had found the light in the darkness, and I knew that I could face whatever challenges life had in store for me. I had found hope amidst despair, and I knew that I would never give up. 11, a call to action. The weight of despair had been lifted, and I had found hope amidst the darkness. But I also realized that my journey was not over. I had come to realize that my struggles were not just personal, but also societal. I knew that there were many others who were also struggling with mental health issues, and that they too needed support and understanding. I knew that I had a responsibility to use my experiences to help others. I knew that it was time for me to take action and make a difference. I started by talking to friends and family about my journey. I shared my story with anyone who would listen. I wanted to raise awareness about mental health issues and help reduce the stigma surrounding them. I also wanted to help others understand that it's okay to ask for help, and that it's possible to overcome the weight of despair. I also began to volunteer at a local mental health organization. I helped out at support groups and provided one-on-one -on -one support to those who were struggling. I found that volunteering gave me a sense of purpose and that it helped me feel connected to something greater than myself. I also decided to go back to school to study psychology. I wanted to learn more about mental health and how to help others. I wanted to gain the knowledge and skills to make a bigger impact in the lives of others. I also began to advocate for mental health issues. I wrote letters to my representatives and attended rallies to raise awareness. I wanted to make sure that mental health was given the attention and resources it deserved. I knew that my actions alone could not change the world, but I also knew that every small action could make a difference. I knew that by sharing my story, volunteering, advocating and educating myself, I was making a difference in the lives of others. I also realized that my call to action was not just about helping others, but also about helping myself. I knew that by taking action, I was also taking care of myself. I knew that by making a difference in the lives of others, I was also making a difference in my own life. I had come a long way since the days of the weight of despair. I had found hope amidst the darkness, and I had found the strength and resilience to make a difference. I knew that my journey was not over and that there was still much work to be done. 
But I also knew that I was ready to take action and make a difference. 12, rising above the ashes. The darkness had engulfed me, and I had felt like I was drowning in despair. But I had found a glimmer of hope, and I had held on to it tightly. I had fought my demons, and I had come out victorious. But my journey was not over yet. I knew that I had to rise above the ashes of my past, and move forward. I knew that my past had shaped me, and that it had made me who I am. I knew that I had to embrace my past, and learn from it. I knew that I had to forgive myself, and others who had hurt me. I knew that I had to let go of the resentment and anger that had been holding me back. I also knew that I had to focus on the present. I knew that I had to live in the moment and appreciate the beauty of life. I knew that I had to let go of the past and the future and just focus on the now. I knew that by living in the present, I could find peace and happiness. I also knew that I had to have a vision for the future. I knew that I had to set goals and work towards them. I knew that I had to have a sense of purpose and direction. I knew that by having a vision for the future, I could find meaning and fulfillment in my life. I also knew that I had to surround myself with positive and supportive people. I knew that I had to surround myself with people who believed in me and who supported me. I knew that I had to surround myself with people who lifted me up and who helped me to see the light in the darkness. I also knew that I had to take care of myself. I knew that I had to eat well, exercise and get enough sleep. I knew that I had to take care of my mental and physical health. I knew that by taking care of myself, I could have the energy and strength to rise above the ashes. I also knew that I had to give back. I knew that I had to use my experiences to help others. I knew that I had to volunteer and make a difference in the lives of others. I knew that by giving back, I could find purpose and fulfillment. I had risen above the ashes and I had emerged stronger and more resilient than ever before. I had found hope amidst the darkness and I had found the strength to move forward. I knew that my journey was not over and that there would be challenges ahead. But I also knew that I was ready to face them head on and to rise above the ashes once again. 13, the power of perseverance. The road ahead was uncertain and filled with obstacles, but I had found a ray of light in the distance, and I was determined to reach it. I knew that the journey would not be easy, but I also knew that I had the power of perseverance on my side. Perseverance is the ability to keep going, despite the difficulties and setbacks that come your way. It is the determination to keep pushing forward, no matter how hard the road may seem. It is the belief that you can overcome any obstacle and achieve your goals. I knew that perseverance would be the key to my success. I knew that I would have to push through the pain and the discomfort to reach my destination. I knew that I would have to face my fears and my doubts head on and keep moving forward. I also knew that perseverance would be the key to my happiness. I knew that by persevering through the tough times, I would find the joy and the satisfaction of knowing that I had achieved something great. I knew that by persevering through the dark times, I would find the light and the hope that I was searching for. I also knew that perseverance would be the key to my growth. I knew that by persevering through the challenges, I would learn valuable lessons and grow as a person. I knew that by persevering through the hard times, I would become stronger and more resilient than ever before. I also knew that perseverance would be the key to my contributions. I knew that by persevering through the difficulties, I would be able to make a difference in the lives of others. I knew that by persevering through the struggles, I would be able to leave a positive impact on the world. I had found the power of perseverance and I was determined to use it to reach my goals. I knew that the journey would not be easy, but I also knew that I had the determination and the drive to succeed. I knew that by persevering through the darkness, I would find the light and the hope that I was searching for. 14, the importance of community. As I journeyed through the darkness, I began to realize the importance of community. I had always been a solitary person, content to rely on myself and my own abilities. But as I struggled to find hope and light in the darkness, 
I discovered that I could not do it alone. I needed the support and encouragement of others to keep going. Community is the group of people with whom we share a common bond. It is the sense of belonging and connection that comes from being part of something larger than ourselves. It is the knowledge that we are not alone and that there are others who understand and support us. I realized that my community was not just the people I knew and loved, but also the strangers I had yet to meet. I found that by reaching out to others and connecting with them, I was able to gain a new perspective and find new sources of hope and inspiration. I also found that my community was not just the people I was close to, but also the people I had yet to meet. I found that by reaching out to others and connecting with them, I was able to gain a new perspective and find new sources of hope and inspiration. I also found that my community was not just the people I was close to, but also the people I had yet to meet. I found that by reaching out to others and connecting with them, I was able to gain a new perspective and find new sources of hope and inspiration. I also discovered that community is not just about receiving support, but also about giving it. I found that by sharing my own struggles and experiences with others, I was able to help them find hope and light in their own darkness. I found that by being there for others and offering them my own strength, I was able to gain a sense of purpose and fulfillment. I realized that community was not just about finding others to lean on, but also about being there for others to lean on. Community is not just about receiving support, but also about giving it. In the end, I came to understand that the importance of community is not just about finding hope and light in the darkness, but also about sharing it with others. It is about working together to lift each other up and to make the world a better place for all. 15. Overcoming fear. As I journeyed through the darkness, I found that fear was one of my greatest obstacles. Fear of the unknown, fear of failure, fear of rejection, all of these fears seemed to be holding me back from finding the hope and light that I so desperately sought. I soon realized that fear is an inescapable part of life. We all experience fear in one form or another, and it is a natural response to danger or uncertainty. But I also learned that fear can be conquered. The key is to understand that fear is not something that happens to us, but something that we create ourselves. It is our own thoughts and beliefs that create our fears, and we have the power to change them. I began to take small steps towards facing my fears. I started by identifying the things that I was afraid of, and then challenging the thoughts and beliefs that were causing those fears. I began to focus on the present moment, and accept, that I can't control everything in the future. I learned that it's important to understand what we can and cannot control, and focus on what we can control. I also found that taking action is the best way to overcome fear. I realized that fear often arises when we feel powerless, and that taking action can empower us and help us take control of our lives. I began to take small steps towards facing my fears, such as trying something new, or putting myself in a difficult situation. I found that by taking action, I was able to gain confidence and overcome my fears. I also learned that seeking help from others is important in overcoming fear. Whether it's talking to a friend or seeking professional help, it's important to have a support system in place to help us through difficult times. I found that by sharing my fears and struggles with others, I was able to gain new perspectives and find new ways to overcome them. Finally, I realized that fear is not something that can be conquered once and for all. It is a constant battle, and we must learn to accept that it will always be a part of our lives. But with the right mindset and tools, we can learn to manage our fears and use them to our advantage. In the end, I came to understand that fear is not something to be feared, but something to be embraced. It is a reminder that we are alive, and that we have the power to overcome it. With the right mindset and tools, we can learn to manage our fears and use them to our advantage. 16. Finding Beauty in the Darkness As I continued my journey through the darkness, I was surprised to discover that there was beauty to be found amidst the despair. I had been so focused on finding a way out of the darkness that I had overlooked the simple pleasures and wonders of life that were still present. 
I began to pay closer attention to my surroundings, and found that the darkness had its own unique beauty. The night sky was filled with stars that shone brighter against the dark background, and the moon cast a warm glow over the world. I also discovered that some of the most beautiful flowers and plants only bloomed at night, and that there was a sense of calm and stillness that could only be found in the darkness. I also found that the darkness had the power to bring people together. In the absence of light, I was able to see the connections between people and the ways in which we are all connected. I found comfort in the knowledge that I was not alone in my journey through the darkness, and that there were others who were also searching for light and hope. I realized that there was beauty in the struggle as well. The challenges and obstacles that I faced during my journey helped me to grow and become stronger. I discovered that I was capable of overcoming adversity, and that I had the strength to persevere in the face of difficulty. I also found that there was beauty in the simple moments of life. The moments of joy and happiness that I had previously taken for granted became even more precious in the darkness. I learned to appreciate the small things in life and to find joy in the present moment, rather than always searching for happiness in the future. In the end, I came to understand that there is beauty to be found in all aspects of life, even in the darkest of times. It is up to us to look for it and to embrace it, no matter where we may find ourselves on our journey. By finding beauty in the darkness, I was able to find hope and light in my life. I realized that it was not the absence of darkness that brought me happiness, but the ability to find joy and beauty in all aspects of life, no matter how difficult they may be. And in doing so, I was able to find a glimmer of hope in even the darkest of days. 17. The Path to Healing As I continued my journey, I realized that I had been carrying with me a heavy burden of pain and sadness. The darkness had been a manifestation of the emotional wounds that I had suffered, and I realized that I needed to heal in order to find my way out of the darkness. The journey towards healing was not an easy one, but I knew that it was a necessary step on my path to finding light and hope. I had to face my fears and confront the emotions that I had been trying to avoid. I had to learn to forgive myself and others, and to let go of the pain and hurt that I had been holding on to. The process of healing involved learning to be kind and gentle with myself. I had to give myself permission to feel the emotions that I had been suppressing, and to accept them without judgment. I also had to learn to be present in the moment, to be mindful of my thoughts and feelings, and to allow myself to experience the full range of emotions that came with healing. I found that connecting with others was a powerful tool in my journey towards healing. I learned that it was okay to ask for help and support, and that I did not have to go through the process of healing alone. I found comfort in the knowledge that there were others who had been through similar experiences, and who could understand what I was going through. I also discovered that the natural world was a source of healing and solace for me. Spending time in nature and connecting with the beauty and wonder of the world around me helped me to feel grounded and centered. It reminded me of the beauty and goodness that still existed in the world, and it gave me a sense of peace and hope. As I continued to work towards healing, I found that I was becoming lighter and freer. The burden of pain and sadness was lifting, and I was able to see the world with a sense of clarity and hope. I realized that healing was not an end destination, but a journey that I would continue on for the rest of my life. In the end, I learned that the path to healing was one of self-discovery and growth. It was a journey that required courage, vulnerability, and a willingness to face the pain and hurt of my past but it was also a journey that brought me closer to the light and hope that I had been seeking. And in doing so, it helped me to find my way out of the darkness and into a brighter and more hopeful future. 18, the courage to change. As I journeyed deeper into the darkness, I came to understand that change was the key to finding my way back to the light. The darkness had come about as a result of my own thoughts, beliefs and actions, and it was only through changing these that I would be able to find my way back to the light. However, change can be a difficult and intimidating prospect, especially when it requires us to confront our fears and insecurities. 
The fear of the unknown can hold us back and prevent us from taking the steps that we need to take in order to grow and evolve. But I also came to understand that change was necessary if I was to find the light and hope that I had been seeking. I realized that I could no longer be content with the status quo and that I needed to be brave and take action if I was to find my way out of the darkness. I started by examining my thoughts and beliefs. I began to question the negative self-talk that had been holding me back, and I started to focus on cultivating positive, empowering thoughts. I also began to practice self-care, taking time to recharge and connect with my inner self. As I continued to make changes in my life, I found that I was becoming more confident and self-assured. I felt empowered to take on new challenges and to face my fears head on. I realized that the courage to change was not something that I was born with, but something that I had developed through my experiences and through the choices that I had made. I also came to understand that change is a process, not an event. It requires patience, persistence and a willingness to keep trying even when it feels like nothing is changing. But as I continued to make changes in my life, I began to see the results of my efforts, and I was encouraged to keep going. One of the most important changes that I made was to surround myself with people who supported and encouraged me. I found that having a supportive community was key to my success, and it gave me the strength and courage to keep pushing forward even when things were difficult. In the end, I learned that the courage to change was the key to finding my way out of the darkness. By taking action and making the changes that I needed to make, I was able to find the light and hope that I had been seeking. And in doing so, I was able to find a brighter and more fulfilling future for myself. 19. The Light of Self-Discovery As I emerged from the darkness, I was filled with a sense of renewal and a deeper understanding of myself. The journey had been difficult, but it had also been illuminating, and I had come out the other side a changed person. I had discovered that the light that I had been searching for was within me all along. I had simply been too blinded by the darkness to see it. But as I had made changes in my life and had confronted my fears and insecurities, I had begun to see the light of self-discovery shining brightly within me. This newfound light had given me a newfound sense of purpose and direction. I no longer felt lost and adrift, but instead felt focused and determined to make the most of my life. One of the most important things that I had discovered was my own inner strength and resilience. I had learned that I was capable of overcoming even the most difficult challenges, and that I had the power to shape my own destiny. I also came to understand the importance of self-care and self-love. I had learned that I could no longer ignore my own needs and desires, and that I needed to make time for myself in order to be my best self. I also discovered the power of connection and community. I had learned that I was not alone in my struggles, and that there were others who could support and encourage me. I had made new friends and had strengthened my relationships with those who were important to me. As I continued to explore my newfound light of self-discovery, I found that I was becoming more confident and self-assured. I felt empowered to take on new challenges and to pursue my dreams with a newfound sense of purpose and determination. I had finally found the light in the darkness, and I was determined to use it to make the most of my life. I knew that there would still be challenges ahead, but I was no longer afraid of the darkness. Instead, I was filled with hope and a sense of excitement for what was to come. In the end, I learned that the light of self-discovery was the key to finding hope and happiness in the face of adversity. And I was grateful for the journey that had taken me there, as it had given me a deeper understanding of myself and a brighter, more fulfilling future. 20, the journey to inner peace. The journey to inner peace had been a long and winding road, but it had been worth every step. I had finally come to a place of calm and serenity within myself, and it felt as though I had been reborn. As I looked back on the journey that had taken me to this point, I could see the many struggles and hardships that I had faced along the way. But I also saw the many moments of growth and transformation that had taken place within me. I had learned the importance of letting go of what no longer served me, and had embraced a new way of thinking and living. 
I had let go of anger and resentment, and had found a deeper sense of compassion and understanding for myself and others. I had also come to understand the power of mindfulness and meditation, and had begun to practice them regularly. These practices had helped me to quiet my mind and to find a deeper sense of inner peace. I had discovered the beauty of self-reflection, and had begun to take a closer look at my own thoughts and behaviors. This had allowed me to gain a deeper understanding of myself and to make positive changes in my life. One of the most important things that I had learned was the power of forgiveness. I had learned to forgive myself for my past mistakes and to forgive others for the hurt and pain that they had caused me. This had been a liberating experience and had allowed me to move forward in a more positive and healthy way. I had also discovered the power of gratitude, and had begun to focus on all of the good in my life. This had helped me to cultivate a more positive outlook, and to find joy and happiness in the small things. As I continued to journey towards inner peace, I found that my relationships with others were also improving. I was becoming more patient and understanding, and was able to connect with others on a deeper level. Finally, I had come to understand the importance of taking care of my physical and emotional health. I had made changes to my diet and exercise regimen, and was making time for self-care and relaxation. In the end, the journey to inner peace had been a life-changing experience, and I was grateful for every step that I had taken along the way. I had discovered a deeper sense of purpose and meaning, and had come to a place of calm and serenity within myself. The journey may not have been easy, but it had been worth it. And I was excited to continue to explore and grow, knowing that inner peace was now within my reach. 21, a new beginning. As I looked ahead, I couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement and anticipation. A new beginning was on the horizon and I was ready to embrace it with open arms. I had come a long way since the start of my journey. I had faced many challenges and obstacles, but had emerged stronger and more resilient for it. I had found a deeper sense of inner peace, and had discovered a new sense of purpose and meaning. I had learned that change was possible, and that I had the power to create a better future for myself. And now, as I looked ahead, I was filled with a sense of hope and optimism. I knew that there would be more challenges and difficulties ahead, but I was ready to face them head on. I had gained a deeper understanding of myself and of others, and was confident that I had the skills and the resilience to overcome any obstacle that lay ahead. One of the most exciting things about this new beginning was the opportunities that lay before me. I had a new outlook on life, and was eager to explore new possibilities and to create new experiences. I was also eager to continue to grow and evolve as a person. I had learned the importance of self-reflection, and was committed to taking the time to reflect on my thoughts and behaviors. I was determined to continue to make positive changes in my life, and to become the best version of myself. Another aspect of this new beginning was my relationships with others. I had come to understand the power of connection, and was eager to deepen my relationships with those who were important to me. I was also looking forward to making new connections and to experiencing new relationships. I was also eager to give back and to make a positive impact in the world. I had discovered the power of kindness and compassion and was eager to share these qualities with others. I was committed to making a difference in the lives of others and to making the world a better place. In the end, this new beginning was an exciting and transformative experience. I was filled with a sense of hope and optimism, and was eager to embrace all of the opportunities and experiences that lay ahead. As I looked ahead, I couldn't help but feel grateful for all of the growth and transformation that had taken place within me. I had come a long way, and was now ready to embark on this new and exciting journey. And so, with a sense of excitement and anticipation I took my first step into this new beginning, ready to embrace all that lay ahead. The light shines bright. As I walked forward, I couldn't help but feel a sense of awe and wonder. The light was shining bright, illuminating the path ahead and casting a warm glow all around me. 
It had taken me a long time to get to this place. I had faced many challenges and obstacles along the way, but had persevered and had finally emerged into the light. And now, as I looked around me, I couldn't help but feel a sense of pride and accomplishment. I had come a long way and had accomplished so much. I had found hope amidst the despair and had discovered a deep sense of inner peace. I had learned the importance of resilience and had developed the skills to overcome any obstacle that lay ahead. I had also discovered the power of connection and had strengthened my relationships with those who were important to me. I had given back and had made a positive impact in the world. And now, as I looked ahead, I was filled with a sense of excitement and possibility. The light was shining bright, and the world was waiting for me to step forward and to make my mark. I was eager to continue to grow and evolve as a person, and to make a positive impact in the world. I was eager to explore new possibilities, to experience new relationships, and to continue to make a difference in the lives of others. And as I stepped forward, I couldn't help but feel a sense of gratitude. I was grateful for all of the challenges and obstacles that had helped me to grow and to develop as a person. I was grateful for the light that had guided me through the darkness, and for the hope that had given me the courage to persevere. I was also grateful for the people who had supported me along the way. My family, my friends, and my community had all played a role in helping me to find my way through the darkness. They had been there for me when I needed them most and had been a source of comfort and inspiration. In the end, the light was shining bright, and the world was waiting for me to step forward and to make my mark. I was ready to embrace all of the opportunities and experiences that lay ahead, and was eager to continue on my journey of growth and transformation. And so, with a sense of excitement and anticipation, I stepped forward into the light, ready to embrace all that lay ahead. The future was bright, and the possibilities were endless. 23, a beacon of hope. As I stood there, I couldn't help but feel a sense of awe and wonder. The beacon of hope shone bright, illuminating the way ahead and casting a warm glow all around me. It had taken me a long time to reach this place, and I had faced many challenges and obstacles along the way. But now, as I looked around me, I couldn't help but feel a sense of pride and accomplishment. I had found hope amidst the darkness and had discovered a deep sense of inner peace. I had learned the importance of resilience and had developed the skills to overcome any obstacle that lay ahead. I had also discovered the power of connection and had strengthened my relationships with those who were important to me. I had given back and had made a positive impact in the world. And now, as I looked ahead, I was filled with a sense of excitement and possibility. The beacon of hope was shining bright, and the world was waiting for me to step forward and to make my mark. I was eager to continue to grow and evolve as a person, and to make a positive impact in the world. I was eager to explore new possibilities, to experience new relationships, and to continue to make a difference in the lives of others. And as I stepped forward, I couldn't help but feel a sense of gratitude. I was grateful for all of the challenges and obstacles that had helped me to grow and to develop as a person. I was grateful for the beacon of hope that had guided me through the darkness, and for the hope that had given me the courage to persevere. I was also grateful for the people who had supported me along the way. My family, my friends, and my community had all played a role in helping me to find my way through the darkness. They had been there for me when I needed them most, and had been a source of comfort and inspiration. In the end, the beacon of hope was shining bright, and the world was waiting for me to step forward and to make my mark. I was ready to embrace all of the opportunities and experiences that lay ahead, and was eager to continue on my journey of growth and transformation. And so, with a sense of excitement and anticipation, I stepped forward, ready to embrace all that lay ahead. The future was bright, and the possibilities were endless. I would continue to be a beacon of hope, shining bright and guiding others through the darkness. And in doing so, I would help to make the world a better place, one step at a time. 24, the end of the darkness. The journey had been long and hard, but finally, the end was in sight. 
The light in the distance was growing brighter and more vivid with each step. It was a symbol of hope, and a reminder of the struggles and battles that had been overcome to get to this point. As the individual approached the light, they felt a sense of calm wash over them. The weight of the darkness that had been so present for so long was beginning to lift. The fear, the pain and the despair were slowly fading away, replaced by a feeling of peace and contentment. The journey to inner peace had been a difficult one, but it had been worth it. The individual had faced their demons, overcome their fears, and found the strength to change. They had discovered the power of perseverance and the importance of community, and through it all, they had learned to find beauty in the darkness. As the individual stepped into the light, they were met with a warm embrace. The light was not just a symbol of hope, but it was also a symbol of love and acceptance. It was a place where the individual felt safe, secure and loved. The darkness was no longer a source of fear, but a distant memory. The individual was filled with a sense of joy and happiness, and they knew that this was just the beginning. The light had brought an end to the darkness, but it had also opened up a world of new possibilities. The individual looked out at the bright, shining light, and felt a sense of gratitude. They were grateful for the struggles and hardships that had brought them to this point, and they were grateful for the love and support that had seen them through. The end of the darkness had brought with it a new beginning, and the individual was filled with excitement and anticipation for what was to come. They knew that there would be challenges ahead, but they also knew that they were strong enough to face them. The light in the distance was a beacon of hope, shining bright and guiding the way. It was a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there is always a glimmer of hope. It was a reminder that no matter how difficult the journey, it is always possible to find the light, and to find happiness. With a smile on their face and a light in their heart, the individual stepped forward into a bright and shining future, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. The end of the darkness was just the beginning, and they knew that there was so much more to come. Publisher. Accepting manuscripts in the most categories. We love to help people get their words available to the world. Revival Waves of Glory Focus is to provide more options to be published. We do traditional paperbacks, hardcovers, audiobooks and ebooks all over the world. A traditional royalty-based publisher that offers self-publishing options, Revival Waves provides a very author-friendly and transparent publishing process, with President Bill Vincent involved in the full process of your book. Send us your manuscript and we will contact you as soon as possible. Contact Bill Vincent at rwgpublishing at yahoo.com